In this video, I'll show you how to outline text in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. Outlining text is pretty easy. First, we need to make some text. So I'll grab the Artistic Text tool, and then I'll click and drag to make some text. Next, we need to choose a font that's big and bold. To change the font, I'll grab the Move tool, and then up here, I'll go to our fonts. For this example, I'll choose Arial Black because it's really bold, but feel free to explore other options. With that done, now we can add the outline. I'm going to go to the FX down here, to open up the layer effects. Then I'll go to the outline option and I'll raise the radius. This is giving the outside of our letters an outline, but it's a little hard to see it right now. So I'm going to change the color. That makes it easier. And I'm also going to remove the fill color. You can do that at the bottom down here where it says Fill Opacity. Just lower this to 0%. Now we can see that outline better, so we can make this as thick as we'd like it to be. One last thing that you can change is the alignment. Basically, this is just where the outline sits in our letters. So you can change this so it's sitting on the outside, on the inside, or in the center. Personally, I like the center option. Okay, now we're going to close out of this so that I can show you one last tip. Right now, you can see that some of our letters are touching and some aren't. So one last thing that we can change is the spacing between our letters. To change the spacing, just double click to bring up the cursor. Then on your keyboard, hold down Alt or Option, and use the left and right arrow keys to add or remove space. Then you can use the arrow keys without Alt or Option to move between your letters and adjust each one. So again, I'll hold Alt or Option to create a little bit of space. And again, Alt or Option to create space. I think this is a really nice trick just to make sure your letters are spaced properly. And with that, we are done. Very simple. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.